Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. So glad to see you and if you're tuning in for the first time, feel free to subscribe. We got a great family of subscribers and today folks, we're fishing with everyone's favorite boatless angler. We've got Antonio with us today. Hi everybody. And his line is already in the water and mine is right behind him. So what we're doing today folks, it's a bit cold out. It's actually hovering around freezing right now. Uh, so the fingers are a little bit numb. But what we're doing, we're going to run the flexi jigs today with a uh, minnow imitating uh, plastic lure. And if you've never seen the flexi jig, you'll know that the, the jig actually flexes down, changing the angle of the hook set. And that's what we're hoping today, folks. We're hoping to set some hooks, hopefully on some uh, river walleye. We're here fishing the Niagara River. And the technique, if you noticed, I'm casting up there. There's a strong current here, so we're going to sweep sweep the area by jigging back and avoiding snags. <laughs> so basically just letting it bounce along the bottom as it's going along in the current. I guess you could call it bottom bouncing. We're just kind of bouncing the jig and sweeping the area because the current is very strong here. And then when it gets to the back, basically all I'm gonna do is just jig it a few times, let it stay in that one spot, jig it a few times and see if there's anything around that can entice a hit. And that's gonna be the technique. Bring it in, cast it back out, and do the same thing. So we're hoping to get into some nice walleye today. Uh, we are fishing the Niagara River. Oh, I wonder if I did have a bite there. Look at my uh, my uh, plastics, you see that? Wow. So, okay. Uh, but there are trout here as well, as well as walleye, so you never know what you're gonna get into. But regardless, we're just happy to be out here on the water, whether we catch fish or not. It's just nice to be out. And it's nice that you're able to join us, so stay tuned, folks. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I just see, see that hit. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, just on the roll. Oh, just as it was bouncing along. Any size? He feels decent. Good. Boy, do I love this, folks. I absolutely love it. Good, solid bite. Yeah, he's fighting. He's dogging it in there. They're strong in this current, aren't they? Yeah. Starting to warm up. <laughs> Starting to warm up. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can get them in the net. Okay, back off on my drag just a bit here. This is where you lose a lot of fish. Oh, it's a good one. Fish! You got one too? Yeah. Got double, folks. <laughs> can you land this one? I can. I can try. Or hand me the net. We got a double cord. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Oh. Real good hook set, too. Beauty. Nice. I don't Shulky. know if I can say the same for mine. I didn't really hook them that good. Hey, look nice at that. Fish. Beautiful walleye there, folks. Hey, isn't that a nice fish? Beauty. That's a beauty. Okay, we're going to let this guy go. Nice fish. I want to get my line in there now. <laughs> Land mine first. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, double header. How do you like that? You got a good one? I think so, yeah. It's got some weight to him? Well, the current, like you said, right? Oh, yeah. Strong current, so. Oh, what do you got? A white flexi jig on? You went yeah. the white, didn't you? There he is. Oh, that's a good one. Uh oh. He's uh -oh. caught on the side of the net, but we got him. Nice. We got him. Nice fish. Yep. That's a real good one. I'm gonna get my line back out there again. That's a good fish. Did you want to keep that one or let that one go? Oh, we can let it go. Okay, back it goes. Yeah, so you're running the white and I'm running the black. That's another beauty. That's a nice fish. Yeah, about a mirror image of the one I caught. Slightly bigger. Maybe smaller. <laughs> Maybe smaller. <laughs> oh boy. How do you like that for a double header? I love it. It's good. That was great. I saw the hook set too. I just saw <laughs> I just looked over and I saw your rod doubled over. <laughs> this nice. one's right close to the boat. Oh another nice hit too. Am I loving this? Yeah, all of a sudden I, I, I'm feeling pretty warm. 
They're strong. They're really fighting in this current, I'm telling you. For those who say that wall I don't fight, these ones seem to have a bit of bite to them. You gonna try to catch one again or what? Come on. Here we go. You're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Folks, this is unbelievable. Oh, there's a nice walleye. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> I lose intention of mine. <laughs> oh, this is this is that's crazy. That's just so much fun. So much fun. Unbelievable. Nice good hook set. And there was no worse for wear. Look at that chunk. They're just oh, oh, oh. they are solid fish, folks. Nice chunky solid walleye. Look at that Niagara River walleye right there. Gorgeous. Hey. That mine? Yeah, I'll net him. <laughs> I'll net him. I'll net him. Oh, oh no, do I? Okay, there. <laughs> But you know, folks, where there's where there's one walleye, there's usually more. So I'm not surprised in the double header. Sounds like a good one. What'd you do? Cast in my spot? Probably. <laughs> oh, it's another good fish. They're all about the same size. Except yours are just a little smaller than mine. Come on, this is <laughs> bigger. That's a good one. That's much bigger actually. That's that's a nice fish. That's the biggest one so far, I think, or maybe not. I don't know. Who's keeping track? That's fantastic. What a nice chunk. That's a nice chunky fish. Beautiful. Just ask me if I like this flexi jig magic. <laughs> Boy, do I love jigging for walleyes. It's unbelievable. It is so much fun, folks. And they're just getting it just as we're bouncing along the current here. Very, very simple technique. It's not that hard. And you know, we were talking about, you know, Antonio, you're doing those house renos. Yeah. You gotta take time. The honeydew list will always be there. It's all about moderation. Fish for a couple hours, go home, work on the honeydew list a little bit, because you know what, that list, it's always there. It never gets shorter, folks. At least mine doesn't. Every time it gets a little shorter, there seems to be things added on. And if you're always concentrating on working on that honeydew list, you'll never get out fishing. So. You gotta get out fishing. Oh boy. And there we go. Oh, that's another nice walleye. Oh. There we go. Okay. Look at that. Isn't this something? This is really something. These are all nice, healthy fish. Really, really healthy, chunky walleyes. Coming out of this cold water. Look at that chunk. Oh, that's a beautiful chunky fish. Okay, see you later, Mr. Walleye. But isn't this a riot? Amazing. This is really something. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try a far cast, see how we do this time a little bit deeper. We're anchored in about 13 feet of water. So it's a little shallower on the one side and a little deeper on the other. And uh, the fish seem to be coming on the deeper side of the, uh, of the boat. So we're gonna keep working this deep side and bounce along there. Sometimes though they do end up on the shallow in the shallows. They'll move in the shallows and they'll they'll feed in there. Depending if the bait fish are there. <laughs> now that one I cast a little closer. Now I should have mentioned too folks we are running braided line today with of course a fluorocarbon leader. And with that braid you can feel absolutely everything. You're feeling feeling everything along the bottom. And in fact, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but Antonio and I are both running a half ounce flexi jig. And in this current, it's working, but I wish I had three quarter. And the exciting thing is, available soon will be the three quarter ounce flexi jig. And I'm looking forward to that when it gets here. But for today, we're running the half ounce and it's doing the trick. But like I say, a three quarter would be just a little better, eh? In that current? Yeah. It would just it'd enable us to work the bottom a little longer, I guess, right? That's another good fish. Braided line with a nice fluorocarbon leader. Nice one. That's another nice one. They're all good, chunky, and they look to be about the same year class, eh? All about the same year class fish. But these are just nice, solid fish. I'm loving it. And you know, we are releasing fish today, folks, but walleye are very, very good eating. And what I'd like to say also, if people ask a lot, are the fish safe to eat? Well, if you do a Google search, 
here in Ontario at least, there's a book uh, there's a called Ontario Guide to Eating Sport Fish. And if you do a Google search for Ontario Guide to Eating Sport Fish, you'll see it come up. And it basically will show you the body of water and it'll, it'll talk about the fish, the size of fish, what you can eat, what you can't eat, how much you can eat. It's actually a great guide and it's free. And sometimes you can find them at the, uh, at the tourism centers, Ontario Tourism. But uh, it's available online, so you could definitely get it online, and you'll be surprised because it covers basically all of Ontario, even a lot of the remote uh, lakes and rivers. So it's a good a good resource to have when it comes to what fish you can eat safely. Oh boy, this one feels like a good fish. What a good fish! Now, I would like to share something else with you, folks. The baits that Antonio and I are running, you've seen them there. But the, the key with those baits as well is they're long and thin. So it really resembles a natural looking bait fish. And because it's thin, doesn't have that thickness to it, it's able to cut through the water much quicker and get down to the bottom and cut through this current. So if we had a thicker, wider bait, it wouldn't do that. It'd be more buoyant and uh, we wouldn't, we'd be losing out on fishing time. So a thin, a nice thin bodied bait is just a great choice when it comes to plastics, especially fishing in the in the river. Okay. Uh, Antonio, you're gonna do the honors yep. on this one? Yeah. Alrighty, it feels like another nice chunky fish. This is great. I just absolutely love this fishing. Oh boy. It really makes the honeydew list a lot easier to take when you're able to get out for a couple hours. And there he is. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that is a bigger, chunkier fish. And you know what? We did say we want to keep one fish for lunch, right? So how about we keep this one? Good. That'll be enough to feed you and I, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to keep this fish. We'll let the other ones go, but we'll keep this one. That's a nice eater. Oh, yeah, that's a beauty. Look at that fish, folks. Nice. That's a dandy fish right there. It's going to make for a nice lunch. Beauty. That was, yes. really, <laughs> that was really good. That was your next cast. Your very next cast. Unbelievable. This is just phenomenal fishing, folks. Just phenomenal fishing. Yeah. It's just great being out here, isn't it? It's amazing. Open water, cold water, walleyes. You gotta love that. Oh, he's got some weight to him. That he looks like does. a good fish. He does have weight. That looks like a good fish. No, well, they're all about the same. Man. That's still, it's a good fish. Come on. That's a nice walleye. That yeah. is a nice walleye, super nice walleye right there. Very, very nice. Now you got the paddle tail on, right? It's working. That's a chunk. Let the folks see the paddle tail sure. that you're running. And I'm going to show what I'm running. So you've got a nice little paddle tail. That gives a lot of extra action. Whereas the one I'm running has just got like a, a forked... I don't know if you can see it has a forked tail there. So mine is basically no action. It's just darting along the bottom bouncing along the bottom whereas yours has got that paddle and it's attracting more uh, more aggressive hits but you know what folks it's all about getting out there and enjoying the weather even if it's cold get out for an hour or two you don't have to stay out all day and just enjoy some great times on the water and that's what we're doing today here folks and I'm so glad you can join us and spend some time with us today because we're just having a great time and I hope wherever you are you have yourself a great time too oh that was bottom and as always, folks, I want to thank you ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. Until next time, good luck and good fishing.